Good afternoon and thanks for joining us right here on Midday Kentucky, which is Happy Hump Day, everyone. Yeah. Happy Hump Day, Happy you Happy Hump two. Day, thank you. Very quickly, how are you both? Hey, doing well. I want to talk about me, but I thought I'd ask okay. you. <laughs> okay. Good, doing good. Great. Okay, doing last great. night. Yes. <laughs> Get to the I went stuff. to, um, I'm the sorry. The Tavern. Thank you. All the way out in Brennan Crossing. Brennan Crossing, yeah, Brennan Nicholasville. Crossing. And um, I have to tell you, I went to see Avengers. Uh -huh. I've decided you need to be 18 or under because I didn't understand the movie. And I won't spoil it for people who haven't seen it. But there was a lot of Marvel people in it. Uh huh. And then all of a sudden, there was that Wakanda. No, Wakanda. Well, Wakanda, yeah. They oh, was it Wakanda? Mm -hmm. I really loved that movie, Black Panther. Yes. But then how did they get into the movie all of a sudden? Well, Are they Avengers, Black yeah, Panther? Yes. Ah. <laughs> now, wait a second. Did you see the Avengers movies leading up to this and all the Thor no. movies and all of that? Oh, That's I saw some of them. Okay. So that might be why you're a little <laughs> lost with it. So I said to the person I was with, should I have seen any of these movies before, like Star Wars? That person <laughs> says, oh, I've never seen the Star Wars movie, so I don't think so. Completely lost throughout the whole movie. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. And I also want to let you know, it's very expensive to go to that movie theater. You think movies so? in general, though, so expensive now. Almost like $18, I think I saw, to go see uh, a movie. I only go to the matinee. But it was still like $10 for a matinee. Well, like, yeah, whoa! It was, it was 10 bucks last night. Then they bought food. So it did cost something like $57 uh -huh. to go. And not that I care. I don't care about that. But I just also thought to myself, hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't love the movie that much. I care about that, and I think that's expensive. Yeah. I think okay. movies are so expensive. But there's that um, discount theater that is down the war from here. It's by, discount there's like a theater? Dollar Tree. Maple Leaf. Uh, Ma yeah, it's, it's right off, off Maple, Maple Leaf. Leaf. Yeah, you can go for like three, four dollars. Uh -huh. It's right around the corner um, from where I live, actually. Someone just said, yeah. what was it called again? A M C. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's so I'll go there. Yes. Uh, it's over by where I live. Yeah. Yep. It's a lot I'm cheaper. I mean, you're not sitting in those luxe chairs, but for the discount, right? I'll take it. Exactly. <laughs> I have to be honest with you because I have that iTunes and all those sorts of things on your television at home, uh -huh. and you can get the latest movie for six bucks. You can. Do you yep. know what I mean? Yeah. And I have to say, I'd rather eat my skinny popcorn at home in my relaxing <laughs> lounge chair, my bathrobe. Do you know what I mean? Than sitting in a room full of. P People eating nachos. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's so much for fun the privilege. to go to the movies, but you think of like a family of four. I'm yeah. like, oh yeah. my gosh, fifteen dollars a ticket. Yeah. By the time you buy all the tickets, it's a real outing to go. I see hear it. you. It is. So. Okay. Oh, my music is up, everyone. Seventeen days away from the royal wedding to celebrate. We are burning and bringing fun <laughs> facts every day on our countdown clock. Today's fun fact, the Royal Mint revealed a new coin designed to mark the special occasion. The five pound coin displays an image of the couple gazing into each other's eyes like Katie and I do every day. <laughs> and it will be available in gold or silver. Now an uncirculated variety, the gold costs around 2,700 US dollars, silver about $110, and the un... Ver what? Verculated? Uncirculated, well oh. that's a spell check. And I can pronounce uncirculated, everyone. <laughs> Coin costs around 17 bucks. Um, really? Yeah. Would we buy one? I think people will, for sure. I do, because, I mean, it's the royal wedding, and you know, you know how hyped up you are about it. You'll get one. No, you'll right. say, Oh, no. I bet you will. No. You'll see I someone would, with I it, and then you'll want it. You know what happened, <laughs> I have to tell you. Music's off, we're done now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I have to tell you, the Queen arrived to see her new great-grandson by a helicopter. It was fabulous. Aww. I saw it yesterday, the woman's 90. <laughs> Here she is, she's got a gorgeous scarf on. She gets out, the butlers are behind her with this blanket. The, the helicopter looks like it's never flown before. It's shiny and sparkling <laughs> and it was fabulous, I loved it. All right, we're gonna get on with the show, anyone. Um, this is something really interesting, an MTV reality show that is set in Eastern Kentucky, everyone, is set to debut this summer. But the mayor of the town doesn't want it to shed a bad light on Elkhorn. The show is called Made in America, and it's similar to Jersey Shore, following a friend group in the Appalachian Coal County, and includes activities like, oh please, 
hillbilly jet skiing and lawnmower jousting MTV claims that the show has a coming of age type thing. Katie, take it away. <laughs> I mean, I just don't like any of these shows because I think they really exploit stereotypes yeah, and I young agree. people in that way. I think it does paint people in a bad light. I even saw in this one other activity was there are um, pickup trucks converted into hot tubs. Yeah. And, and I think mm -hmm. you just set up these young people to uh, just portray these stereotypes. And I, yeah. I just... I, I, I think it's going to be a lot like Jer Jersey Shore of Kentucky stereotypes. Well, it's funny you say like that, it. Katie, because um, they visited 10 colleges, everyone, and they've tried to find the, ca the cast. According to Hazard Community and Technical College, students between the ages of 18 and 26 yeah. were requested. Now, they do not want the show to be like Buck Wild, which was filmed in Charleston. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, back in 2013, one of the cast members died from carbon monoxide poisoning mm -hmm. after his vehicle landed in a mud pit after leaving a bar. Look. I haven't, my issue with these type of things, you know, everyone knows I'm a Housewives fan mm -hmm. of every franchise. I'm very much like you, Katie. I don't like these type of things like, you know, um, Teenage Brides and those type of shows. Teen mm -hmm. Mom. Teen Mom. Um, teen, yeah. Yeah, is they it the egg them on for bad behavior, oh. I think. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. They it's, do. It's very stressful and I think the mayor was actually concerned um, he says he's the Elkhorn City Mayor and Mike Taylor and he actually believes the show is not representative of the region. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. And he, you know, he's, he, he keeps saying you know, you're not going to make us look like idiots. There's mm -hmm. a lot of you know, smart people in Pike County, just like everywhere. And I, and I do think that the way I've seen these reality shows go on MTV, uh, we're not going to like the, the worst light for that it. it yeah. shares, we all agree. MTV's Kentucky. the worst yeah. for mm -hmm. it. Do, like, it's really... Yeah. It, I... <sighs> It does worry me, and I really hope um, people don't go overboard on this show mm -hmm. just yeah. to become famous. Right. Because That's what I think happens. Yeah. I and mean, a will. true look into Kentucky life, of course, we all think it's great. It'd be wonderful. I just think when you get these young people that, you know, want to be famous or want to be anything, you're then tempted to go you know, do further, things you wouldn't farther beyond, yeah. and yeah. Ugh, I don't like it. Tell us what you think. We're putting it over on our Facebook page. Um, you know, there is a lot of um, information about it there. There's also a video. <laughs> We'd love to hear your comments, whether this is a great interpretation of the great state of Kentucky. Hey, it's always good to start off that day on a high note. And what better way to do that than showing that special someone that you love them? I found this story, and after I have to say, after I read it, I think I want to be in love and have a partner. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow, Troy. <laughs> That's I a big know. announcement. Because I just thought this well, was... Well, this is if your partner does these things. No, I know. <laughs> but this would be part of the role that they would have to play. <laughs> so <laughs> was, ni was last night's date a good what? start to that? Was it a date? Oh, I thought I it was a date. Oh, my gosh, Lisa. You don't tell me things, no. so I have to just... That's right. Them. For that reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it wasn't a date. Are you crazy? Ah, hmm. Okay, all right. <laughs> Here's the first one that they suggest that you do to have your partner start off on a nice day. They bring each other coffee or breakfast in bed. Oh, you don't that do that be... for Doug because he's no. up at, no. what time does he go to work? He goes to work, yeah, at 4.30. Um, they help pick out their partner's outfits for work. Yuck. I would never do that, especially if their wardrobe looked like that. He asked my opinion and I ask his opinion often. You oh. do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about man friend one? Well, he wears scrubs every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, Katie, you could decide what colour you want to do. Um, they have an impromptu dance party in the kitchen. We never do that. Yeah. Never. <laughs> I don't think that would make me love you anymore. But Aww, I just... It is kind of romantic, though. I kind of like it. I don't know about two guys dancing in the kitchen. No, I don't know. I don't know about that. Mm. Little music going yeah, on. Yeah, no, I don't think yeah. so. They leave each other little love notes. And see, that would make me feel sweet. Yeah. I would love that. Yes. Yeah. Does he ever send you love notes, Katie? No. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so, what about you? <laughs> sometimes, yeah. Sometimes he does. Why am I the only romantic at the table? I'm the only one who's single. Barry? <laughs> Barry's our wonderful floor director here. Barry, what's the problem? I'm, I'm, I'm not all there in the head, am I, obviously? Um, <laughs> they start the day with a silly song. <laughs> Is that Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta? It is. <laughs> 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 uh, I like 
these. Maybe I'll do a, a little. Do you, you know, like this? I tried to get a card once from Man Friend. I think it was Valentine's Day or something. I got him a really massive card. You know those big ones yeah. that you can get. Yeah. And he's like, "Well, I feel bad now. You know, I didn't get you a card." And I was like, "Well, you still have time." <laughs> and he's like, "Well, I don't really like cards. I just like to say things." Oh. And I was like, okay, well. Sounds uh, like Sheena from Vanderpump Rules. Yeah, but then I like was still waiting and he never uh, said any things. So. <laughs> I remember someone bought me some flowers for Valentine's Day from the service station, mm -hmm. a gas station. Yeah. And um, it was so obvious. And so they arrived at my house and we weren't going out. It was just, he was wanting to be my Valentine. And he gave me these flowers and I just sort of looked at him. I'm like... You do know the florist that I have a partnership in is just down the road. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> I only like white lilies. Um, <laughs> I know. It's a little crazy. Hey, everyone. I thought this was interesting as well that to bring this up because sometimes people say that I have social anxiety. Mm -hmm. It's misunderstood that mental illness that affects 15 million Americans. Social anxiety disorder is a condition where there's an extreme fear of being judged and that can make attending events or speaking in public terrifying. People on social media spoke out and they were basically saying that the people that have social anxiety, mm -hmm. they're saying that they're not rude, mm -hmm. okay? They don't know what to say to people at a party, mm -hmm. and, and I'm, I'm afraid of being judged. Here's the thing, I'll tell you why they say I'm not rude. Is it bad that I wanna leave early from a party? I don't think it's bad that I wanna leave early from a party. Right, right. Does that make yeah, me fine. have social anxiety? I don't know, it depends no. on why you wanna leave. Because they're probably boring me. Well, that's right. not anxiety. That's exactly. Not, yeah. But people say that that's what I have. But I think it's wrong because a lot of people misuse the word um, mental illness. Yeah. This is part of my point. Mm -hmm. But I will also say I don't know what to say. When I go into a function sometimes, I think to myself, I just want to get here, do what I have to do, and then get out. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to talk. To really? Lots of, and I notice as I'm getting older, that's happening more and more. Is it because I'm just not that interested in people anymore? Well, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, is that you're talking all day. All you're doing day. these shows. Y you know what I mean? I, y you know, Doug and I are very different. When we go to parties, when I go into a group of people, it charges my battery up. When he goes in, he's an introvert. And so when he goes in, it actually, it yeah. brings him down. He's just like, he, he's like that. He, well, people he say to me that either. you're so different mm -hmm. in person as, as what we see on camera. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, yeah, because we're here to entertain. Right. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Like, what are you at Whole Foods like on Friday night? Are you <laughs> the party girl in the aisle? Yeah, she I was. like to have yeah. you. <laughs> 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 she I think is. it's very real though. Like I, I do know people who, and I um, will get anxiety in, in other situations. I don't have social anxiety, um, but I think it is real, and I think it's true that sometimes people can perceive that as someone being rude. Yeah. But you might really just be suffering from anxiety of being around people and not knowing how to deal with that situation. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's something to know. It's funny because you know when I was given that award for um, working in the community. Yeah. Um, if I had known they were going to get me on stage and say something, mm -hmm. I would have been fine. Because in my head, I would have prepared right. what I was going to say and do. But because they called me out, I was a wreck. <laughs> I was almost shaking, and mm. which was weird because really? I'm not that guy. Yeah. But me, I don't know. That's why I think when someone said to me, this relates to you, I'm like, really? Hmm. Hmm, yeah. Interesting. I, I mean, just because we're on TV does not mean that we are, you know, socially, you know, party goers and things like that. I mean, people mm. are very different. I know you come across very intelligent on TV. <laughs> 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 we're much different in person, aren't we? <laughs> okay, everyone. Do you think your mum is the best in town? Go to our website, click on the contest tab, oh. and submit a picture of your mother and tell us why your mum is the best in town. She'll have a chance to win the Mother's Day gift basket worth $500. We have some incredible prizes on there, everyone. One person wins the whole basket. That's right. It's and pretty it, good. It's going to be a nice it's basket. It's pretty too. Yep. good, everyone. Yep. But the best thing is, you didn't even have to tell your mum that you won it. You can actually say that you went out and bought it all <laughs> and Troy. then just present it. Yeah.
Yep. Oh. <laughs> No, the way that they win it, though, is Ultimate awesome. re-gifting, yeah. The ultimate re-gift. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you, everyone. All righty. Um, the contest is drawn on the 11th of May. Coming up, if you're dealing with entitled children, Dr. James Stilwell has some tips for us. You're watching The Day Kentucky.